Hey guys, I'm Darren. I'm a lifestyle photographer and content creator based in London, UK. I'm going to share with you some quick tips that I use every day to create my content over on Instagram. Today I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to create a stop motion in Adobe Premiere Pro. So a stop motion is just simply a video that's just made up from a number of individual photos or images that we're just going to piece together until they move. So here's what we're going to create today. We're going to use nine images to create this effect. You can create a stop motion using any images you have. These were shot handheld using high speed burst mode on my mirrorless camera, but you could easily just do this on a smartphone too. Just make sure you've got all the images saved in a folder ready to get started. First, we need to set the speed at which the images will play back when we import them. To do this, we're gonna to go to preferences and then select timeline. Here you'll see I've got my still image default duration set at 0.2. What this means is every still image that's imported into our sequence will last 0.2 of a second in duration. If yours is set higher by default, you can change it here now. We're going to import our images by dragging the folder into the files bin area on the left. Once they're loaded in, we need to create a new sequence by clicking on the new item icon and selecting choose sequence. I'm going to create this stop motion for my Instagram feed. So for this format, I'm going to choose the 1080p30 preset under the digital SLR folder. Then I'm going to head over to settings and I'm going to change the frame size to 1080 by 1350, which is the correct size for Instagram's portrait feed format. The next step is to drag the images in from the project window into the sequence that we've just created. You'll notice they're a little stretch when they've imported. This is no worries, but it just happens because the images are larger in size than the settings we've just created, but we're gonna easily fix that. Just click on the first clip so that it's selected and then head over to the effects control panel and resize using the scale effect control. For these images, we're gonna set it to 25. I'm just gonna zoom in a little so we can see the clips better. So now we've resized one, we can now resize all the images by simply just copying and pasting these settings. So select the first clip we've just applied the effect to and press Command C or Control C on a PC to copy. Then select the rest of the clips and right click to select Paste Attributes. So now for the part you've all been waiting for, we're gonna get everything moving on a loop. Click on the loop playback button, then set in and out points by pressing I at the start and then drag the playhead over to the end and press O to set the out point. Press the space bar to play and as if by magic, everything's moving. Now this is playing at the speed we set in the initial timeline settings, but I think it's playing a touch too slow to be honest. So let's fix that and speed it up. Select all the clips by pressing Command A, which is Control A on a PC, and then we're going to right click and choose Speed Duration. I'm going to change the duration to 03. Now you'll notice there are gaps because we've just sped up the clips. You can get rid of these in just one click, head up to the sequence menu at the top and select Close Gap. Now this speed is perfect. For the main final step, we're going to make the video loop back and forth, so we need to create a section that's reversed. The best way to do this is to nest the clips. So highlight all of the clips by pressing Command A again, which is Control A on the PC, and then right click, and then select Nest. Then we're going to duplicate the nested clip by holding the Option or Alt key, and then dragging them over. Lastly, we'll reverse this clip. So right click, choose speed duration, and then choose reverse speed. Drag the loop out point to the end and press the space bar to play the loop. To export for Instagram, the clip needs to be over three seconds long. This one's slightly shorter, so I'm just gonna fix this by duplicating it a few times. To extend the length, we're going to just nest the clip again like we did in the last step. So select them both by dragging, right click, then select nest. Then we're going to duplicate this nested clip once again by holding the option or alt key and then dragging. Now it's the correct length. To export, just press Command M or that's Control M on a PC. Then we just need to select somewhere to save the final video. You just click here where it says output name, choose the location you want to save the file, rename it if you wish, and then just click on export. Once it's exported, just use whatever your preferred way is to get it over to your phone. For me, I just right click, 
and then I use AirDrop to fire it over to my phone from my MacBook. And then you're done. If you want to create your own version of what we just run through, then head over to adobe.com now where you can download the exact files that we used in this tutorial. We've also linked some other similar videos down below. So we'll see you in the next one.